Um, I'm sorry, you're not involved in our conversation, so mind your business. And you are the creepiest man I've ever seen, okay? All right, so here's guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, by the title, we're doing another episode. Guys, this series is already so good. I'm so excited to get more into it, but I'm gonna stop talking because we don't really know much about it, so there's not much to talk about yet. But let's just jump into the game, see what happens, see the tea, the drama with Cole and Sophie, all of it. So let's get into it, okay. Oh, hey, boo-boo. <laughs> Cole singing pulled my attention from the graffiti-covered walls. Being the first I'd heard his voice, it was a lot deeper and rashes than I expected. Oh, girl, are you feeling in love already? All we know is time is slipping from our lives. Wow, a poet, you know? But it wasn't just his voice that held me. Oh, it was his face too, yeah. It was his presence. The way he took command of the whole room, demanding everyone's attention and getting just what he wanted. And that smile. I hate to admit it, but I was captivated. Girl, he has a girlfriend. Back off. <laughs> from everything I'd heard about the lead singer astray, he definitely didn't have a girlfriend. Well, uh, well, uh, would you really want to be with someone like that? Girl, mm. Though every girl would fling herself around him given the chance, no matter who he was talking to. So what are you doing, girl? That is my exact thought. What? No. I looked through the crowd and spotted Megan. Oh my god, a girl's having fun. She looked like she was having the time of her life in the front row by the stage. She's supporting her man. Go off, queen. She was cheering and dancing and the band was feeding off her energy. She clearly knows how to have a good time and this is my first stray concert. I'd probably have the best experience by rocking out with her. Looks like she saw me and is calling me over. I should party with Megan in the front row. Stay in the bag? No. We want Cole to see us. You even though he's a player, we still want his attention, you know what I mean? It's the chase, guys. <laughs> it's the chase. Yeah, I'm spending the coin. Excuse me, sorry. Megan! Soph, hey! I'm so happy to see you here. I had to see what this talk about Stray was. Well, now you got the best seat in the house. And I must say, wow, you look great. Oh my god! Thanks, bestie. <laughs> like you're part of the band. Thank you. A friend gave me the inside scoop. I should tell her you look hot. I love your outfit too. Nothing, just watch. So you look hot. Don't no. Don't be one of those girls. No, we're gonna compliment each other. Okay. You look hot too, as always. Thanks so much. I had to force my eyes from the lead singer to Megan. They sound really great. Better every time, if you ask me. It must be cool to be dating a guy in a band, right? Oh, Casey is amazing. The band part I could do without. Speaking of Casey, I'm so embarrassed. What? Why? Casey talking to you about being my friend, girl. That is okay. That is what a good man does okay he is watching your back and we're gonna be homegirls now it's fine he's just he's just worried about me only hanging out with him and his brothers and he wonders why i never hang out with any girls because girls are mean okay they're rude <laughs> i just don't connect with many people i can't help it it's nothing to be embarrassed about living with three boys is crazy enough but this band they keep things interesting that's for sure well if you ever need a break i'm here for you thanks sophie come on let's dance get it girl oh Cole's gonna be looking at you, sis! We made our way back through the crowd to dance and listen to Stray. Their music was pretty catchy and I found myself swaying along with Megan easily. So, hey! Hey, Jenny! Megan, this is my roommate, Jenny, and my friend, Jasper. Hey, so nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Jenny, are you a big Stray fan? Uh, no, she actually hates them, but maybe maybe she likes them now. I hope. I hope she doesn't say anything because her fiance's in that band. Uh, sort of. Girl, not the answer. Oh, well. Are you having fun at least? Actually, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. That's good. I'm glad you came then. We knew you'd have a good time. It was so cool to see Jenny thriving outside of her comfort zone. Oh my god, go off, guys. <laughs> I hope she would have a little more of an open mind from now on. Oh, girl, you are really getting it on. My eyes kept wandering back to the lead singer. And again, I was memorized just like every girl in the room. After Stray finished playing, Megan and I went to the bar to wait for Casey. Surprisingly, Jenny stayed on the dance floor with Jasper, bumping and grinding to the after party DJ's mix. Okay. Megan and I seemed to have a lot in common, and she had such interesting stories. Oh my gosh, he sounds so sweet. And then he tripped, and both of us fell into the sand. Hey, baby. Oh. Hey, sir. Hey to you. Oh, hey, Soph. Great to see you. You too. Great job up there. Yeah, you were so fine up there, as always. That's lovely. Thanks, babe. It... Yeah. I'm trying not to vomit. I'm fine. I admire Casey's affection towards Megan. If only someone <laughs> would like me like that. You can, you can tell those two share a strong bond. Who is this man? Who is this man? Suddenly, I was startled by the presence of someone in my personal space. This is my no-no zone, so stay out of it. Thank you so much. Excuse me. What's your name, sweetheart? None your business. How about that? I stepped back, attempting to put space between myself and the layering man, and I actually bumped into Casey. You have the nicest pair of legs I've ever seen, and you are the creepiest man I've ever seen, okay? His wandering eyes scanned me, leaving me feeling a bit uncomfortable. Is no one gonna do anything? Is there no one's gonna say anything to I don't think she's interested, man. Okay, thanks, Casey. I think this fine young lady can speak for her. No, get away from me. I'm not interested. Yeah, so beat it. Told you. F you and your stupid little boy band. Aw, 
Is your feelings hurt? Yeah, that sucks. Get away from us. What an asshole. Seriously. What did that deuce just say? Oh, not Cole getting defensive. When Cole came over to us, I felt weak at the knees and instantly started sinking into the background. Nothing. He was just pissed he didn't get what he wanted. Well, if he wants to talk shit about us, he can come talk to me about it outside. Clearly, Cole had a temper and I shied back further, leading into the bar as he continued to talk to his brother. Rattling off threats is his humorlessly yet sexy masculine baritone. Okay. But I was much too distracted by his lips to worry about what they were coming out of them. Okay. Girl, get a hold of yourself. My heart hammered in my chest as his stormy eyes stared aggressively past me at his brother. I couldn't lie. He was gorgeous and I didn't want to look away. Settle down, bro. Yeah, take a chill pill. Cole seemed to listen to his brother and then continued to talk for a minute. I don't think he even knew I was there. Talk about invisible and making someone feel unwanted. Hey, Cole. Ew. I looked past him to see Roxy waving her arm. See you guys later. Have fun with your little... You know, thing. She was flirting relentlessly and I was wondering what she was saying. I don't want to know. Did hair flipping and giggling really work on him? Guess so, because a moment later, Cole was leading her towards the door. Um, looks like he's not very picky. That's not a great thing. Wow. When did he become like this? Oh, Megan does not like it. Hey, I'm gonna have a few drinks with Jake for a bit. You want to come along? Not tonight. I'll just head home. Okay. Love you. Oh my god, everyone wants a Casey in their life. Honestly, he's he's the real one, guys. So that's Cole, the infamous. You know, it's funny, I actually met him the other night. Really? Where? I randomly ran into Jovi outside my dorms and then helped her reunite with Cole. Then we went for a walk. I love dogs and he's so cute with Jovi. Oh yeah, he's the same when it comes to that dog. That's where it ends though. Honestly, cute pup aside, what do you think of him? I don't really think of him at all. You know, he's not the greatest person, so why would we want to be with him? Honestly, he's the hottest guy I've ever seen. We are not saying that. I sort of had him on my mind ever since. No, I don't get the hype. I don't get the hype, honestly. Like, he's good looking, but like, no. No one's ever that good looking. I don't quite get all the hype around him. Like, yeah, we get it. You have a six pack. <laughs> You're a rock star. Let's not lose our minds here. Yeah, exactly. Did he go on and on about Stray? Actually, no. I never got his name. We talked mostly about Joey, so I didn't even know he was Cole from Stray until I saw him up there tonight. Right when I was about to ask him, some girl butted in between us calling him Babe. I thought she was his girlfriend, so I backed off. Well, I hope you see that now she is not his girlfriend. Yeah, he does not do the girlfriend thing, does he? Yeah, I've heard he's not exactly the girlfriend type, to say the least. Honestly, I don't blame him, though. People label him a player. Yeah, because his actions speak for it. Hello? But after what the guy has been through, I'm not surprised he's acting out. What do you mean? I think Megan may be hinting at some sad, darker stuff. Cole doesn't show his true self to anyone except maybe Joey. It's a long story. Hmm. What? I was just thinking, maybe you could help me bring out his sweet side? Um, I don't want to be anyone's experiment. <laughs> thank you, but no thank you. Why me? You're the realest girl I've met in this town. If anyone could, it'd be you. But I shouldn't talk about it here. If you think you're up for the challenge, let's find somewhere quiet and I'll tell you all about it. Maybe Cole had his heart broken and that's why he's tough. I'll take the challenge to break down Cole's wall. Actually, I don't care. I mean, it would be interesting and you know, that's, it could, it could start something. But if my feelings get involved, okay, well, her feelings, but I, <laughs> if our feelings get involved, then it's just not a good thing. You know what I mean? Like we're just going to get hurt in the end, but you know what? Um, we're bored and we have nothing to do. We have, no, we don't don't have anyone so am I spending the coin yes um is this probably a bad idea yes am I gonna do it yes tell me everything okay I've never told anybody this but I really feel like I can trust you so although this town worships Spencer Cole the truth is he's been a mess for the past few years ever since Ruby who is Ruby is that his ex-girlfriend uh, who's Ruby I would say she's the closest he's been to an actual relationship uh, that's great so we have competition and we have someone else great that's great great what happened? They met back in his hometown. She used to be close with all three of them. I guess you could say she was the band's first fan. But from what I've heard, she was way more concerned with the band's success than Cole himself. Ooh, yikes. I guess after seeing them play every venue around here a couple times, she was just over it. Apparently she told Cole she didn't think Stray would ever make it out of this town. Oh. Not the negativity, girl. Good thing she is out of their life because she's toxic. Uh-uh. She left to go follow Muse on tour and never came back. Yikes. OMG, that's awful. I had just started dating Casey when she left. I had only known them for all for a couple weeks. But when she went away, I saw Cole change. Change how? Well, he lost interest in everything. The band, his classes, his brothers. They didn't play for at least a month. No practice, no gigs, nothing. What snapped him out of it? Well, I'm not sure anything really has. Uh um, that's concerning. All I remember is Casey and Justin begged him to play at a gig that they had booked way before all this went down. 
and he actually agreed. And I thought he might be okay. But I think playing that first show without Ruby, where he was so heartbroken and confused, made him sort of flip the switch the other way. He saw all those girls in the crowd screaming his name and looking up with him with big desperate eyes. I think he felt like he had something to prove. Like like if he slept with all these girls who already considered him a rock star, Ruby's abandonment wouldn't hurt him anymore. Mom, I feel bad for him. I think even now he's just lonely. You know what? Ruby is a traitor. Yes, Olivia Rodrigo reference. Ruby is a traitor, okay? And he wants someone he cares enough for telling him he's good enough. But he doesn't care about anyone anymore, except for Jovi. Exactly. I guess it's just how he protects himself now. Jovi will never break his heart, right? But Soph, I want better for him. Oh, Megan is gonna be a great sister-in-law. He's basically my brother, and I'm so tired of watching him go through life emotionally stunted. He needs someone to remind him what a quality interpersonal connection feels like. But what if he rejects me? It's better to have loved and lost than never loved at all, right? Wrong. Wrong. Girl, no, that is wrong, okay? I, no, I don't want my feelings to get hurt. Uh-uh. Look, Soph, I don't want you to get hurt either. I'm not saying it isn't risky. I just don't know what else to do for him. I don't know. Find someone else, girl. Not me. And I hope whatever happens between you two, you and I can still be friends. Friends. Don't worry. This is for life. <laughs> of course. I'm really glad we met Megan. Me too. Let's get out of here. Want to come over to my place and hang out for a bit? Sure, lead the way. Cole and Roxy walked in about the same time we did and disappeared into a bedroom. <clears throat> Disgusting. Megan didn't seem surprised. So how come you and Casey don't move out on your own? We're going to move out after we graduate. Cole and Justin aren't too bad. They're like my own brothers. I just get sick of the parties and late night guests. Is it like every single night? Oh, either Cole or Justin have someone over there about every night, but I'm pretty strict about parties. They are not blasting music and hurting groups of people throughout the house on school nights. That makes sense. My mind kept going back to Roxy though and how she practically skipped into Cole's bedroom with him. She was definitely a fan. That's kind of stalkerish and creepy. I can't imagine how it must feel for those girls. My roommate says they're just being used. Oh, I feel bad for them for about two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but so if every girl here knows Cole and how he is, they know exactly what they're getting from him. And that's what they come here for. Which is fine for them, no judgment. Girls have a right to get theirs too. They just shouldn't expect any sort of actual emotional bonding to come from sleeping with him. If they do, they're delusional. Girl, we already know they're delusional. I knew she was right. I tried to separate myself from the thoughts of the impossibly hot guy I knew was just in the other room and just be there for my new friend. That is until we heard some noises coming from one of the back rooms. Ew, that's gross. Roxy sure seemed to really agree whatever Cole was doing back there. That's really gross. A little while later. And you're still staying in the house? Uh, -uh I would be like, yeah, listen, I gotta go. I don't want to hear this. Cole and Roxy emerged from the den of inquity as Megan called it. Ew. Ew. And of course he was shirtless with his jeans sitting snug and low on his hips. Everything about him screamed pure unadulterated sex and it is impossible to focus on the one piece of him. Um, yeah. <laughs> Everywhere my eyes roamed, I find another perfect future to study. Don't. Just don't. He's not great. From his plump juicy lips down to his impressively carved abs. Sis. Why? Why? I didn't think a guy sweating and rocking out on stage could stand so beautiful, graceful. Do you not realize that there is literally a girl right next to him as you're admiring him? Like, sis, this is a red flag. Hello? And for a second, I looked at Roxy with jealousy. Don't. She got to touch all that. Oh, that's lovely. I had a lot of fun. I'm sure you did. Now leave. She fluttered her eyelashes up at him and he barely reacted. Oh, he doesn't care. Yeah, I'll see you around. He said, bye. He kicked her to the curb. Yikes. He wasn't even nice to them and they still raced to his bedroom? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I really had my work cut out for me if I wanted to get close to him. As if he knew I was thinking about him, he came strolling over. Um, I'm sorry, you're not involved in our conversation, so mind your business. Megan greeted him like it was completely normal for them to be talking just minutes after he had some girls screaming in his room. Mm. Oh, hey, doll face. I'm Sorry, don't call me that. And second of all, you didn't even see me at the club, even though I was right next to you. Now you want to see me? Mm-hmm. Mm You're the girl who found Jovi when she bolted. Sorry I didn't get to walk you all the way home the other night. Yeah, no problem. You were just occupied with one of your girls. And yet I was invisible at the bar earlier. Yep, exactly. Nice to see you again. Not. <laughs> you too, boss. Cole, this is Sophie. Tonight was her first time at one of your shows. Ah, first timer. I hope my performance was memorable, doll. Yeah, I hate to break it to you, but it wasn't. Yeah. Doll, he keeps calling me doll. It's probably because he doesn't remember your name. <laughs> 
Unlike earlier when he completely ignored me, now he was definitely checking me out. His eyes lazily drifted up my legs. Okay, please stop staring. When he finally made it up to my face, he shot me a quick wink. Ew, no, I'm not gonna be one of your little missions. No. Is he serious? Yes. He knows we just heard him having sex with another girl. Yeah, he's disgusting. And he's gonna try and come for me now without so much as a shower in between. <laughs> She said, you're stank, <laughs> you're nasty. He was so deep in player mode, he had lost all sense of common courtesy. <laughs> so how'd you like the show? Eh, it was all right. Everyone else was good except for you. You guys are pretty good. You give me black veil brides and mixed with Green Day vibe. She actually knows something about music. I guess she wasn't lying when she said she wanted to study music. Oh, he actually paid attention. Interesting. But we're better, right? You could be. Oh, really? How? He raised an eyebrow waiting to be impressed. This is my chance to show Cole what I've got. Straight could definitely make it and I know I can get them there. Pitch him a business plan straight up. Give him the business plan, but keep it flirty. Tell him you are bluffing. No, we are smart. Okay, we're gonna show him that we are not just one of these other girls that just want him. No, we are smart, okay? Um, pitch him a business plan straight up. Well, your venue could have been better. Oh, really? I'll let you know Media 15 has been Stray's home base for years. Yeah, time to switch it up. Yeah, and you've clearly outgrown it. With all this exposed electrical wires, graffiti, and overcrowding, if you hated it so much, you could have left. Okay, I'm sorry for the attitude, sir. Keep it to yourself though. That's not what I mean. Don't be petty, Cole. You know she has a point. I mean, you clearly have a fan base that would follow you anywhere. You should reach out to other venues. I'm sure they'd be interested. Great, thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Okay, obviously you have some issues. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. He asked for my advice, but he clearly wasn't ready to hear it. Why did he have such an amazing smile? Girl, why is she falling for the trap? Uh-uh. Such a wide set of straight white teeth. It was deceiving. It almost made him look sweet. Yeah. Don't be fooled. He stood there making small talk with us for a while, eventually retreating to his room. Which oddly wasn't the room he came out with Roxy. That's weird. Ask Megan about the rooms. It's none of my business. No, I want to know. I'm nosy. Wait, does Cole have two rooms? What do you mean? I mean, the room he just went into is different than the one he came out with Roxy. Oh, right. Sorry. Yeah, he only ever invites his lady friends into the guest room. Ew. Does he sanitize the sheets in between? That's what I want to know. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. He's never let any girl into his actual bedroom. Joey sleeps in there too, and she doesn't like any of Cole's lady callers. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Oh, she sure seemed to like me. Seriously, did you have bacon in your pocket? No, we just have that vibe to us. But yeah, Joey's the only girl allowed in Cole's room. Everyone else frequents to the guest Bet. I wonder what that was about. Sorry about him. I love him, but I know he can get a bit irritating at times. It's all right. He doesn't seem too terrible. Maybe things will work out after then. Megan and I chatted until Casey got home. You girls having fun? Yeah, but I missed you and I'm ready for bed. That's our cue to leave. See you guys. We'll make a bed for you, Soph. Oh no, it's only a block walk to my dorm. I'll be fine. It's the middle of the night. I wouldn't let Megan go walking at this time, so I'm not about to let you. Um, guys, it's fine. Really, we don't want to be stuck in a house with- No, it's really fine. I can drive you. Casey and Megan are offering me a ride home. That's so nice. Thank you. Really, I'm fine. Really, I'm fine. It's okay. Really, guys, I'm fine. Don't be silly, Soph. We're taking you home. I'll get my purse. Oh my god, guys, they're so nice. I want friends like this. I'm taking Joby for a walk. Okay, great. Amazing. Good for you. Cole had put on a jacket, but of course he left it hanging open. I tried to keep my eyes up. Girl, do not let him know, okay? Why don't you come with us and then I can walk you home, doll? You know, this doll, doll face thing is concerning me because it's like, do you just not remember my name and that's why you're calling me that? That's, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I promise we won't ditch you too tonight right until another girl strolls up and you're like hey see you later yeah bye Sophie finding your own way home yeah how noble of you. Just so we're clear, we're not hooking up. Excuse me, I can be chivalrous if you let me. Right, of course you can. Chivalrous, now I'd love to see that. I highly doubt that. Well, aren't you full of surprises? I'd love to see that. Now I'd love to see that. Come on, doll. I'm not the shallow chemist guy you insist on thinking I am and I wanna show you, really. Mm, your girl that just left the house five minutes ago said otherwise, but it's fine. I should let Cole walk me home showing me what you got, Prince Charming. Let Cole walk home. That's surprisingly sweet of you. Say I prefer to walk home alone. Um, no, because the guys, this is our chance, you know? Even though I don't like him, but we still, you know, you guys know what I mean. We still want him, even though we don't like him. Um, yeah, that's surprisingly sweet of you. Thanks. Thanks. That's really sweet of you, actually. Leaving the house, I approached Cole apprehensively. Obviously, I was attracted to him, but I didn't want to just be another player in his little game of never-ending hookups. You know, I really don't need a chaperone. These streets aren't safe at night. It's literally a block away, buddy. But don't worry, Joby will take down any bad guy that dares cross our path. Oh, you can't protect yourself either? Mm, that's unfortunate. Right, girl? Oh yeah, what if I told you I know karate? I appreciate you looking out for me. No, I know karate, okay? I watched <laughs> Cobra Guy and all that. <laughs> what if I told you I know karate? I'd say show me some of your moves. I'd love to show you some of mine. Um, that has a double meaning and I don't 
want no no smooth i guess if you're gonna walk me home let's go i'm super pumped i get to spend more time with you pretty girl it was silent most of the walk to the dorms and cole followed behind me a few steps that's kind of weird like oh that's really weird but as we arrived he stepped closer okay does no one know what personal space is anymore i should say something flirty and goofy cool and aloof 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 what's aloof mean does no it does, i don't know um, we're just gonna say flirty and goofy. Yeah. Well, thanks for walking me home my knight in shining armor. Okay. I immediately regret my joke when his eyes changed, staring down at me intensely. It's the least I could do. Like I said before, Cole, it's not happening. Oh, she said, don't even try it. And I'm not selfless if you expect something in return. As if he wasn't close enough, he took another step towering over me and I had to tilt my head back to meet his eyes. You have really pretty eyes, doll. Yeah, thanks, I know. His compliment caught me off guard. Maybe I could see how girls fell for his charm. Cole, you should know I'm not into casual sex. I want to get to know you on a deeper level. I'm sorry you've been hurt. No, we're not supposed to know that. I want want to get to know you on a deeper level. The first one and the last one is just, it's out of the question. We cannot, no. You seem like a really cool person. You're talented, famous, adored. Why would you bring that into the conversation? No. But if you want to get to know me, you have to let me get to know you too. I think I can manage that. Wait, hold on. We're not just going to be one of his flings, right? He's not just playing us, right? Oh my god, guys. This is where they fell in love. <laughs> As I looked up into Cole's eyes, I saw something I hadn't seen before. Shyness, vulnerability, maybe? When he looked down at me, he smiled. Thanks for letting us walk you home, doll. Thanks for walking me home, Cole. So if you okay? Oh, Jasper, way to ruin a moment, okay? Go back. Don't go back. Oh, Jasper. Yeah, I'm fine. Good night, Cole. Thank you for walking me home. Um, Cole does not look very happy with Jasper. See you soon, Joey. Anytime, doll. Come on, Joey. Was that Cole from Stray? What was he doing here? He walked me high. He was just making sure I got home safe. I don't want to get in your business or anything, but that crew isn't really good company. Um, that's definitely getting in my business. But here's a little thing. Mind yours and I'll mind mine. How about that? Thank you so much, Jasper. I wasn't surprised to hear Jasper agreeing with Jenny's views on Cole. I've got it under control. Mind your own business, Jasper. Actually, you're wrong about them. You're wrong about them, actually. Actually, you're wrong about them. Megan is one of the coolest people I've met in a while. Casey treats her like a queen. Justin seems like a sweetheart. And Cole, I'm starting to think he's pretty widely misunderstood. So just lay off, all right? All right, I see your point. Exactly. So thank you, mind your business. I'll let it go. I appreciate it. Come on, I'll walk you to your room. Oh, he's still there? What? Jasper kindly walked me upstairs and said goodnight, and I slipped into my room. It was nearly noon when I pulled myself out of bed. I never slept in this late, and I was thankful my first class didn't start until 1.30. There were a few people in the living room when I walked in, and they quieted when they saw me. Why? I made my way past the wide eyes and whispers and into the kitchen. I didn't even know these people, but they were all watching me. It was strange, but I tried to focus on making some toast. Hey. Uh, hi. I awkwardly greeted the girl, not noticing the others peeping over at us. What's going on? Well, we heard that you were with Spencer Cole last night. Oh my god, does no one have their own lives to deal with? Like, hello? People were staring at me because they heard I was with Spencer. Words travels fast. It's none of your business. I don't know what you're talking about. It is none of your business. Whether I was or wasn't, it's none of your business. Secrets are hard to keep around here. Well, keep them to yourselves. And here I thought he went home with Roxy that night. Okay, he did. That's great. Good for Roxy. Did he really walk you home after? Oh, girl, did you not hurt me the first time when I said mind your business? Yeah, it wasn't a big deal. That is so unlike him. Well, you guys really don't know him, so. Unlike him, huh? He seemed pretty eager to do it for me. You don't have to be embarrassed. Why would we be embarrassed? You aren't the first and you won't be the last. Okay, Hallie. All right. I did not have sex with Cole. Weird. He must have not liked you. Yeah, and he definitely will not like you. The girl walked away, leaving me a mess. I was caught off guard and a little frustrated that people assumed Cole and I had just hooked up because we walked together. Hooking up with him would be so much easier than what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I wanted the chance to get to know Cole organically, and I would love to be able to do it without the drama of the groupies thinking I was trying to break into their club and become a regular rotating member. I wasn't even hungry anymore, and I tossed my toast in the trash before marching out of the room. Thanks for nothing, guys. Meanwhile, at the Cole's house. Thanks for introducing me to your friend last night, Megan. He likes us, guys. He likes us. She seemed really cool. Yeah, she's the coolest. And she's a really good friend, so be nice to her. I'm always very nice. Yeah, a little too nice sometimes. You know what I mean, Cole? She's not a one-night stand for you. She's not into that kind of thing. Who, me? Yes, you. You're right, though. She didn't even invite me up to her room. If she's so great, why can't she be my friend too? Because you can never just have friends, okay? They always are something else. That's another story. If you wanna to get to know her as the cool, funny music managing boss that she is, of course you're welcome to. Whatever you do, just don't ruin my friendship with her. Well, why don't you give me her number so we can all just be good friends? Mm, friends. 
you wish come on i don't even have it anyways oh so you want me to get it for you i can do that of course you can a little while later i tried to concentrate on studying for my chemistry quiz but i couldn't let go of what that hallie girl had said to me earlier what if he really has no interest in me at all just because he has flirted with me doesn't mean he's interested in me not the way i want him to be anyway why did i think i would be able to get close to cole a task no girl has succeeded at um girl he's definitely interested in you ring ring is someone at the door is someone calling us who could this be hello hey doll it's cole um how did he get our number? That's kind of weird. I hope you don't mind me calling you out of the blue like this. He is definitely not done that for a girl. Cole, no, I don't mind at all. Why are you calling me? Why are you calling me? Why are you calling me? Well, the thing is, I sort of can't get you off my mind. Guys, he likes us. He likes us. What does this new friendship have in store for you? Um, definitely not just a friendship. Will fame follow you and your new crew at Western? Is Cole making a change in his heart for you? Oh my god, guys, he's changing for us. <laughs> Keep reading to find out. Oh, guys, so that was this episode, you guys. Um, I know I said I didn't like Cole, but I feel like this is, this is, I'm always like this. I don't like them, and then they like them, and they do something, and I don't like them, but then I like them. Um, this just happens all the time. Um. Uh, um, yeah, but I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of this series and if you like it so far. But I love you guys. Do not forget to love yourself. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace out, scouts. Bye.